writing standard equation of the parabola with a given directrix and vertex. This example, we have the directrix at x equal to 3 and the vertex is at 0, 4. So all we have to do is to graph or plot those uh, parts of the parabola in a Cartesian plane. So since we have here directrix at x equal to 3, so on the x-axis you have to locate 3 as the value and then you are going to draw a line because that is a directrix. So this is where our directrix is. And then we have the vertex is at 0, 4. So on the x-axis, again, you are to locate 0. And on the y, so this is 0. And then we have to move up for the y value. So we have 4. So this is where we have our 4. And this is our vertex, the 0, 4. So once you plotted that one, you would know the opening of that one. So since our directrix is on the right side of the vertex, so most likely this is a parabola which is opening to the left side. So again, it will be best for you to plot your given so that you would know first the opening of the parabola. Because using the opening of the parabola, we could somehow determine our standard equation of our parabola. So since this is opening to the left, we are going to assume that this should be with an a y minus k squared equal to negative 4a times x minus h as our standard equation of the parabola. So by then, we have already our vertex, which is with our h as the coordinate of x and then k as the coordinate of y. Then we are going to look for a because we have here an a. So after getting everything here, we just have to plug in our value. So let's try to look for a. a here is the distance from the vertex and then the directory. So if we are going to count how many units away are, are the directrix and so with the vertex. So we just have to count. From the vertex here, we have to count one, two, and three. That's three units towards your directrix. So our A there is automatically equal to three. So A here is three. Vertex, our H there is zero. Our K there is four. So we just have to plug in our value. So we have y, we copy that one, minus our k, which is 4. And then we square, that will be equal to negative 4. And then we have an a, which is 3. And then we copy times x minus our h, which is 0. So simplifying that one, we have y minus 4 squared equal to negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. And then x minus 0, that is x. So this is now our standard equation of our parabola. So let's try to have our next example. So this one, we have the vertex given as negative 2 and 1 with the rectrix as our 4 units at the top of our vertex. So first off, we are going to plot our vertex and locate that one. So we have negative 2 is on our x coordinate so we have to look up that one on our x-axis so this is negative 2 this is where negative 2 is and then on y we have 1 so we have to move up one unit so this is where our vertex is so after the one we have to interpret this one with the directrix for units at the top so from the vertex we will be counting towards the top four units to determine our directrix so we have one two three and four so this is where our directrix is so we just have to draw that one so after that one we are going to count how many units are the directrix and vertex are away from each other so we count from the vertex this is one this is two this is three this is four so basically the number of units there uh, which is four units at the top that will be our a so again, we have our h, which is equal to negative 2, our k, which is equal to 1, 
our a which is equal to 4. So since the opening of this one, if you try to look at that one, the vertex is located at the bottom part of the directrix. So we will be opening downward for that one. So since that is downward, so since opening is downward, our equation now will change. So this will now be um, x minus h squared because this is downward. Upward, downward, you've got there an x which is squared. So we have x minus h squared. That will be equal to, that's downward. So we have negative 4a times our y minus k. So we just have to plug in. So we have our k, I mean x minus our h, which is negative 2. And then we square that 1. That will be equal to negative 4. Our a is 4. And then times y minus our k is 1. So we have that one simplified. So we have x plus 2 because this is minus and negative 2 side by side. That would create a plus. And then we have squared equal to negative 4 times 4. That will be 16, negative 16 times y minus 1. So this is now our standard equation of the circle. So this is it. So I hope that you are doing well on parabola. And please always remember that you have to practice more so that you will be able to understand that one and be able to answer the questions for every questions on parabola. So this is it. So again, this is your teacher, Jenny, saying good day and hope that you are feeling great.